Welcome back to Binding of Isaac. I am Mislid, and today we are going to do a regular Isaac run. Nothing super special. We still need to beat, well, pretty much what in the world kind of room is this? Just a room we're going to shoot the poop to look for some monies. Some monies. So we need to beat Blue Baby with pretty much everybody. Everybody. Well, that was a worthless room, wasn't it? We've only beat Blue Baby with himself, which is kind of crazy talk. About kept shooting that TNT because I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. But because he's beat it with everybody, that means we can go back to playing Isaac. And Isaac is, once you've unlocked the D6, Isaac is the best character going. Since, you know, he can re-roll any item you might happen to get. Do I want number one? Um, actually probably not. I'd kind of like number one, but it's range, man. Super crazy speed with no range. Let me go see what I get out of the boss room. Right here. So no, okay, I have one bomb. So I have one bomb, but no good place to use it. But yeah, let's go to the boss room. Who we got? We got the Widow. Forget the Widow. Oh, Pink Widow too, okay. There is no strategy to Pink Widow. The strategy is run the frick away anytime it does anything. It has very, very low health. And for the most part, you're going to ignore these little, um, oh my goodness, run away. For the most part, you're going to ignore the nubs completely, because it'll kill them if it lands on them, so don't worry about them. But your goal here is just to get away from it. I say it will kill the nubs, it will kill the red flies by jumping on them, don't worry about them either. Just keep distance. Oh, I still got hit. And then afterwards, clear up these little guys. Okay, so we got a speed up got a blue heart I'm going to look for the super secret room here probably not a good use of my bomb but I found it so still not a good use of my bomb but I did find a secret room it's not the best place for it I went here because it only it would only have one room off of it um, but it wouldn't be off like the top or off of the side so it was like it was level with where another room was at and I just thought it was more likely than that top room. Let's try this. We got Sister Maggie. Ah, uh, no, no, that's probably, I think that's better than number one, maybe? Perhaps not, I don't know. It really depends on if we end up with a bunch of range ups. If we end up getting several range ups, then I should take number one. If we don't, then having bad range can be a disaster. So it's good that I didn't take it. Same thing, if I don't end up with any more damage ups, then having Maggie for damage ups will be good. Let's go in here since I opened it for us. Um, three, yeah, let's play three cents worth of the Fortune Teller. The Sun is an excellent card. Pushpin is not excellent, but it's, you know, it's a free trinket. We don't have one. The Spirit Heart is excellent, though. Bombs. I don't really want bombs, so we're gonna leave that, let it sit there. Come back and re-roll it. I don't really like any of the bomb items. None of them are bad, like, if I couldn't re-roll them, I wouldn't be upset about the bombs, but... I don't know, they're just not, I wouldn't call them good. Okay, this is a bad situation to be in. I don't like this layout of this room. Okay, so we're going to, we can already re can already re-roll, so let's go ahead and re-roll. Then we can charge it again if we need to. Holy water, good grief. Should have taken the bombs. That's what that means. Should have taken the bomb. Definitely should have taken the bomb. Okay. I might come back to that curse room, but I want to see if I lose spirit hearts first. You don't want to, you know, voluntarily give up spirit hearts if you might end up losing them in more natural ways to enemies later. It's just not smart. So let us avoid that fly while destroying some of the poop. Ignore that fly completely. I do believe there might be... I don't have enough money for the shop. I will take the pearl over that pin. Where might... 
So our super secret, oh we already got super secret, super, super secret room, blah, blah, blah. But the secret room might be left. Okay, Steven. Steven is an easy loss to fight. You just kick to the walls. How long is he gonna, okay. I was about to say, how long is he gonna stand there and get his breath back? So usually I just, you know, don't try, I, you don't try to get too close to him. His problem, of course, is little buddy that comes around because the buddy bounces around like a crazy person when you shoot him. So you can get him trapped like this, fantastic. If not, when he bounces around, don't shoot at him when he's close to you because he might bounce in unexpected ways and end up killing you. We got little Steve, which is another familiar who does homing tears. Um, I don't particularly want those two cat items. There is a special thing that happens and a secret unlock that you can get if um, you have to get, I think it's three cat items in one go. Or three dead items in one go, maybe. I mean, that's what it is, and they just happen to be a lot of cat items or also dead items. And, oh, that wasn't the secret room? Well, that's weak sauce. Um, okay, let's go reroll. There we get E6 charge back up. That's good. I was worried. We will take Infestation. Infestation, when you get hit, I believe it is, spawns flies, which attack things. Oh, there's a secret room over there. What are these pills? What are these? Balls of steel. Okay, so I wasn't going to go in that other secret room. It's going to cost us two hearts to get in that room and back out. Let's risk it. Not worth it. Let us spend our money. I'm mostly spending our money to see if we can get um, another spirit heart to make up for coming in this room. Two of clubs. Okay. That works. Two of clubs works. Can you use that? Can I bomb my way out of here? Yes, please. Thank you. Save myself that spirit heart from getting out of there. So that all in all worked out for us. Because we would have lost that uh, spirit heart going into the other room when we were leaving the main curse room anyway, so it's fine. And we found the secret room in a weird, weird spot. I still don't want those death room items. And on down to floor numero three. For some reason, my game didn't think I was clicking on it. I don't know. It was weird. I opened that door by accident because I had me saying to it. I hate that nonsense. We now have three dudes shooting at once. That's very nice. Got a new key to make over to one that the game decided it was going to spin to force. Bunch of crap. Back away from shooting there for a second, so we can kill ourselves. And a penny. Well, thank you, game, I guess. So, one bomb will not get us those four. So, let's not even try that. Quarter. Let's go. That quarter. We probably want to buy that quarter. Let's go to the shop first, since we already opened it. And see what's in there. The nuns have it. Okay. We're definitely buying that quarter. Or buying the quarter, taking that quarter, getting the nun, nun's habit. So the nun's habit, when you get hit, it recharges your um, spacebar item, which is fantastic. It is one of those, you know, one of the few must purchase items in the game. Unless for some weird reason, you're not gonna, you don't want your spacebar item to, I don't know why, I don't know. I'm not sure what the situation would be, unless you're doing like a specific challenge run where you wouldn't want the nuns have it. Because you always want your space for item to... Either the space for item you have to charge faster, or um, you want to replace this with a new space for item that recharges faster. Like, I'm not sure in what situation that would not be true. Unless you were rolling like Dr. Fetus, Epic Fetus, just didn't care. In which case, why are you in the shop anyway? You don't need anything if you got Epic Fetus. You already have a winning combination. Come on, flies. Go ahead and die for me. We'll use our last bomb there and pick up two more. 
for two spirit hearts. Okay, we'll definitely go back to the other bombs, though. Because we can get four bombs for two in that other location. These little guys are annoying. Not difficult, because running into these guys actually can't hurt you. But running through this fly, flies, they spit at you, obviously can. Um, do I want to use my only key on that? May maybe. May probably. Probably. Let's go to probably. So we'll probably do the rest of the floor, get those bombs from the other place, come back here. Let's... Caves 1. Let us fight the boss. Action. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's open this. Okay. I want to open that in case it wasn't. My thought was, in case it was an item, I want to open it so that I could I have that open. See if it was something I wanted to roll. Re roll it if need be. Go fight the rest of the floor, see if I get another charge. Then fight the boss if you need to re roll that. As a plan. Or maybe I would have ended up, if this was an item gone and see what the boss item was too if I want to re-roll either one of them so I'd know which one was best to re-roll. You know how it goes. You gotta plan out these D6 uses. But I have the nuns habit now so I could I could have come in here um, seeing that I wanted to re-roll whatever it was intentionally got myself hit to recharge it. Like recharge it, intentionally got myself hit and then see where that took me to get another d6 charge that's a thing I'm not sure if now if it's been patched so that you can only get so much charge out of the nuns habit in one room it might have been I forget yeah you know, after a while what patches are actually in what ones are coming for rebirth and what stuff is things that people are just like you know what, this would really be patched but it never is okay I'm getting hit way too much for this nonsense. I don't even get hit by the boss. I mean, hit by the flies. Which does make sense. Like, you know, I'm effectively dodging the boss. I'm just not effectively dodging these giant red blood spitters. So do I even want little Chad? Um, not really. Oh, look. Dang, dang it. My fault. So... Chad is one of the enemies that will always give you the same item no matter what. So if you re-roll like I did, you just waste a charge. There's no reason to re-roll that ever. So this entire floor sucks as far as figuring out where the secret room is. I might try over there by the balls just to see. Like that is the, you know, one that's the most obvious place for it. But if it's not there, forget it. Super secret room, no chance of finding that. Oh, this room is worthless anyway. Okay. So no chance to find the super secret room. There was a spirit heart in the store, correct? We can go in here, get some more life. More life? Yes, more life. Always take more life. And Rebirth are going to stop it so that you can only get 12 hearts maximum. Which is going to suck. Going to suck. I was going to check here for the room, wasn't I? But for now, we don't have the limitation, and that was not the secret room. That sucks. For some reason, I didn't think it was going to be. But, you know, I'm still hoping. It was still the best shot. Surrounded by three rooms. It was a good, it was a good, it was a good, good attempt. Even if it didn't work out. Oh, no. There goes our nuns have it working for us. And we're already almost charged with our D6 off of one room. So these little guys are just annoying. I'm not sure if they... Pretty much everybody in the game has a pattern. These guys don't have much of one, though. They just seem to run like a crazy people. Then they break apart, which makes me, you know, a dozen crazy guys running on the screen. I got some red, white, and purple going over here. It's almost American patriotic. But not. But not. Jack that all up. Okay, let's try it one more time. Come on, bomb. Be in the right place. There you go. Give me something decent. 
gave me a bomb back to make up for the bomb I spent, except I sent two bombs, so that doesn't work. Okay, this is okay, that's good. I was concerned they were gonna cut me off. But they didn't, but they didn't. I ain't got time for y'all craziness. I got the triple streams of death going here. Kill all you fools. All you fools. Trying to hunt me down. Little Chad's still trying to help me out. It's not helping. It's trying to. Should have gone south, obviously, since everybody else went north. Come on now. I got the belt to run away. I'm assuming the belt makes you go faster because Isaac's dad would beat him with a belt. So you have to run away. That's like my thought process there. I should go to the arcade and get some keys. That's what I should do. Especially now that I need at least two. So I need to come in here and get me. Get me some keys. That is not a key. Not a key. Also not a key, but it's bombs. I'll take bombs too. Bombs are also useful, especially getting me four at a time. That's fantastic. All right, give me something good. I don't want that. So what you can do on these rooms, if you leave when there's a fly in the room, it re-rolls the room for you. And you can get a chance to not get a... Uh, it'll re-roll this over here. It can have a chance to re-roll the fortune teller machine into a regular slot machine. Which isn't working for me. But, you know, it can do that. Let's play it anyway. We might get like a cancer trinket or something. Or a flat penny would be good too. Burnt penny, I think, gives you extra bombs, maybe? Is that what it is? Alright, so play this sometimes, get some more monies. And as you see, after I'm getting hit, we're getting more flies. You can only get up to like five or six flies per um, room. Like, you'll, you can get more in one room, but if you leave, they will disappear down. I think it's like five or six per thing. So Burnt Penny does give bombs as you saw me those pennies and I got a bomb earlier. So at least hold it for this room. We might take the pearl when we leave. But I mean, we'll at least stack up on some stuff here. Might as well play this. Like I said, maybe we can get the um, Flat Penny. Flat Penny gives you keys. Which is what we're actually after in all this. Even though I have not gotten anything so far whatsoever. Well, I guess I'm questioning your authority to make me good decisions when you're giving me... S Wait, no, stop. Ugh. Give me keys. Give me some keys! Kill me, Smalls. Give me the flat penny. That's not the flat penny. I appreciate the spirit heart, but it is not the flat penny. Somebody give me something. How am I already this low on money? With no... Alright, well, let's leave and come back. This is killing me. This is killing me. Okay, let's play the slot machine twice. Not the slot machine, blood bank machine. So there's a heart out there. Okay, well now I've got money back again. Let's play some more. We're down to 15 cents. And then go looking for... Um, uh, keys some other way. Since apparently this place is not going to give them to me. We are getting all the bombs! All of the bombs. I was actually playing before to play down to 15 cents. I just hadn't realized I was actually down to like 11 before I started looking at my money, which is awful and bad planning on my part. I realize. Come on now. I just want some keys. I don't actually. I'm not trying to min max here. All right, I do want the cancer. Oh, not yet though. I want burnt penny for now until I'm doing this room. No burnt penny. Until I get out of this room, and then I want cancer. I just gave him a 15th cent. Daggone it, I didn't mean to. Thank you for giving me back what I wanted. Give me a key. One more time. No, not bombs. I want keys. Game, 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 game. Okay. Cancer down, let's go. Pick up this red heart, because I gave it up to the blood bank. So many keys. Hate your faces. All your faces. We have the cancer trinket, which is, unless you are rocking blue baby or all spirit hearts, cancer is the best trinket in the game. 
If you are Blue Baby or rocking all spirit hearts, maybe you're Eve or something, and you intentionally got down to that level, um, in that case, you want the Polaroid. Because the Polaroid gives you like three or four seconds of invincibility every time you get hit. So it's kind of fantastic. I'm not liking this room, this floor very much. I don't have any keys yet. I would like that, but not. I don't take damage for it. Maybe if there are more hearts on the floor later, I will get that money and take the hit for it. Actually, if I get no keys, I'll definitely take the hit for it and go get go get it. Because now I need, what, four keys for this floor? This floor's ridiculous. Come on, troll engine. Stop trolling me. Ain't got time for your craziness. So one thing I haven't paid attention to is does cancer affect my familiars or not? doesn't seem to. I think I think I'm shooting faster than all of them. Let's come on. Everybody come over here. Stand all together and fire. So my shots are faster than everybody's. Okay. Just checking. Hey, you gotta know these kind of things. Let's waste some life going here. This is the one that makes stuff into um, gold. Makes golden chests appear more often. I don't have any keys though, so that is like the worst thing I could possibly have right now is the worst thing ever. So let's... And I don't know what I was thinking earlier about walking on the spikes and giving up hearts. I'm like, we're rolling spirit hearts mostly. It would do us no good to... It doesn't matter if there are hearts on the ground or not. It doesn't even matter. I still need... There's a lot of spiders. That is a lot of spiders. I need keys, yo. Keys. Thank you. Good grief. Where is the item room. Uh-oh. Ooh, that was closer than it should have been. Closer than it should have been. So let us, I guess it's to that one we haven't been to, then, um, man, do we have to go, we pretty much got to go to the, hmm, let's shoot. I'm gonna buy that for half a heart I'm going to I am going to go back to the arcade spend some more spend some more here blow this up for a key thank you that's two I need what four at least I'm going to pay the blood donor. Oh, okay, good. At least that bomb did not go anywhere interesting. Get ourselves down to half a heart. Because why not, mostly. We got so many spirit hearts, I'm sure we can get back. We can have enough red hearts to get back up full sometime before we actually need these red hearts, right? Seems like a plan. We're only on Catacombs 2. But, I mean, come on now. This machine is not paying out today, except in bombs. We have lots and lots of bombs. I really should, if it spits out more money, could pick up that um, burnt penny. Oh, to like the flat penny. There we go. Okay, now we're at four. Um, I know I shouldn't. I'm gonna play a couple more times though. Play some more times. I'm kind of after hearts or more keys. The way this is going. There we go. Okay. Pick up this. Pick up those. Pick up those. Play this. And I'm gonna blow it all up. Blowing it all up. Okay. You're gonna die? That's what I think about you. You're gonna die, because it also hates your face. There you go. And we're gonna go to all of these golden chests. So that was money that was worthless. I mean, not worth, worth five cents, I guess, but you know, worthless is what I was going for. Of not much worth. Susan, so this shop, probably greed. Nope, bunch of crap. So that was a waste of a key, absolutely. So we still got, we got two more chances to make this right. Make this right. 
Come on, game. So I guess it goes up and to the right, I guess? What is this? What are you? Two of spades, doubles, keys, I believe. Let's hold on to it for a second. We'll definitely take that sun card with us. Don't you worry about it. But if we get a key in this room, I'd rather double five keys than double four. Just trying to play it smart. See? We got a key. We double it to ten. And now we're, see, we're in better position now. Come here, we're going to re-roll the yum heart, because that's a bunch of nonsense. Uh, we will take the PhD. Which will give us good pills. There is no chance for another re-roll this floor. Unless, unless I botch the, um... Unless I botch the boss fight really bad, which is certainly possible, I guess. I think you can recharge in one room. We're going to pick that up because I don't really want it later. Okay, so let us go to our boss. Fighter boss, if we somehow manage to get hit a lot and end up with the D6 recharged off one fight by some miracle, then um, that's not going to happen off the hollow. Not going to happen. But if it was going to happen, I'd go back and reroll Tammy's head. The only problem with having the D6 is you end up with two good to give away syndrome. You don't want to give up. You know, you don't want to give up having the D6. Because it could turn anything into anything. I mean, not quite, but... It can reroll based off the, you know, what was available in the item pool that you're rerolling. If that makes sense. Alright, let's just in here. The Bible. Do I want to take... Bible instead of the D6. No, not really. Not really. I want to re-roll the Bible. I want to re-roll the Bible. Ugh. Ooh. Grr. Okay, so there's not... There's just not enough rooms. There's not enough room. I can't get in that boss room. Yeah, that's all I got. Okay, let's go down. That was awful. I can read all that, maybe get, you know, the relic, get Sacred Heart, get Book of Revelations. Those are all things you give up to D6 for. That you need to get D6 for two of them, but still. That's stuff you would give D6 for if you could. Oh my goodness. I hate this room. These are my most hated enemies in not any game ever, but in this game, certainly. All right, there we go. Good grief, that cost way more health than it should have. This room might as well, but it might not. It might be okay here. Use my crazy dodging abilities that I learned fighting Mask of Infamy against some spiders. Because I know they're just spiders, but spiders are OP in this game. They just are, spiders are hard. Especially for like new players, you got somebody who's just coming from base Binding of Isaac. And like their first couple levels are all spiders. Man, that just, psh, that's brutal. It's mean, cruel and unusual gameplay punishment. Give them a bunch of spiders. And these guys are just annoying. Because you feel like you need to be shooting on those flies, which you really shouldn't be. You should be killing the big bad guy who's spitting out 5,000 flies at your face. Oh, don't kill him yet. Okay. Like, don't kill him while he's in our face. Come on now. Play smart. Play smart. There's a lot of red hearts if we can find a um, blood bank somewhere. Try not to let one of these guys kill me. Try not. I had to check real quick. I, was like, I did bring cancer with me, right? I didn't like leave cancer behind and have like the stupid penny with me. I mean, the penny's not bad, but we got 26 bombs from that penny. We got 26 bombs, and now I just want crazy fire rate. Which will suck if we get to Isaac, or Blue Baby. But hey, that's a lot of assumptions. You know, the whole, if we get to the end bosses, that probably won't even happen anyway. So why sweat it? Why even sweat it? Let's go to the east and murder some things. I could use, we got a range up last time, didn't we? I was about to say I could use a range up, but we're our range is pretty good. 
I would rather have a damage up. Use a pentagram, use a sacred heart. I could use a hate this room with a passion. So Necropolis, I didn't find the item room or the shop or anything worth having. Let's go down here, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah, let's play this. Let us play the beggar. Give me something, beggar. We've only got three red hearts. How is that even possible? we only got four red hearts. How is that even possible? I'll get over there. Come on. Annoying, annoying little game. Got my way. Oh, this sucks. Okay, good. Yeah, so let... Okay, you're going nervous now. Let's kill you and kill you. That wasn't happy. I don't like what that red, that uh, green guy did there to free this spiky thing. Can the spiky things go over crevices? I don't think so. Oh, good grief. Can we just leave? Yep. Oh, we still got hit. Still got hit. That red heart's worthless. I don't know why I shouldn't pick it up. I can't get it. Oh my goodness. Not a difficult room, but I'm still taking damage. Because my brain is rattled from the mask of infamy. I'm not sure what these guys are actually called. Like, because the big one's the mask of infamy. What are the small ones called? I don't even know. You can, and I'll probably make a video of it later. So y'all know you can walk between spikes at an angle, right? You've watched me do it 500 times. You can also walk across, like in between spikes, like right here, and from above, like from like right here. But the angle is so close, I don't, and I don't need keys that badly. Um, that I usually end up taking damage to it anyway, but it can be done. I'll make you a video at some point showing you, showing you me doing it. So you can then rewind and look at it, it's exactly where the um, right place to stand is. So it definitely takes some practice, and I definitely suck at it. Oh, mask, mask, heart and dudes, and I hate your faces, all of you. You are all evil. Oh, don't get me in the get me out of the corner. So pretty much, I mean, people say that, you know, you need good items to win Isaac. I think that's crap. You don't need good items. What you need is to not see these. That's what you need. Because that's about the fifth room of these guys you see. Like, you're going to die. Let's just forget it. Like, that's the killer. It's not that you ended up getting kamikaze and all this other junk. It's that you ended up, you know, fighting enemies where half the guys in the room are faster than you and you can't shoot them. They're invincible. I'm like, yeah, give me a room with, you know, half the room's invincible and of course I'm not gonna do well. I'm like, come on, man. You guys aren't even fair. All right, but we're back to what is sadly full health at four hearts. See if I can kill a couple of these guys before they murder me. Got one of them, so the answer was no. Still took a hit. Still took a hit. Uh-oh. Okay, run away. That fly looks confused and scared. Confused and scared, just like we are. So we took one hit in this room. Let's get into this. Get in here. And that was not worth it. I don't really want that arcade, because I'm bleeding money. Him blood money. I'm hemorrhaging blood like a crazy. I'm not sure why crazy would be hemorrhaging blood. Maybe because they didn't get it go to the get seek medical attention when they hurt themselves. Because they are in fact crazy. I don't know. That could be why though. Like a non-crazy person would, you know, not be hemorrhaging blood anymore because they went to the hospital and got that mess patched up. These are random thoughts I have while playing this game. How big is this floor? Apparently we are on super floor of doom and destruction. Oh! Thought I might have something there with a crazy dodge of escapism. But instead we have two spirit hearts. We probably have a fight with greed here. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead. Yep. Who knew? So I don't think you can, can you re-roll greed? I don't know if you can or not. Um, didn't give us an item anyway, so we can't find out. 
Because you can get the steam cell. You don't need the steam cell this late in the game. Like, there's nothing else after this floor. Because I'm pretty sure... With as big as this floor is, we are not on, like, Necropolis level 1. We're just on crazy dual Necropolis. I don't know what killed that guy. Maybe... I'm assuming one of our familiars. I'm pretty sure none of my bullets hit it. Maybe one of uh, Maggie's shots blended in with its shot and did that for me. I don't know. We're going to go with that though. Pill bottle. I will take a pill. We do have... Ooh, we do have the nun's habit. All right, we're going to finish out the first boss and then come back to um, that room, see if we want to reroll it or not. That is the plan. We might not want to reroll that. Might not want to. Or we might. I'm not quite sure yet. Let's go see what our boss has in store for us, see if that gives anything decent. Or if I want to use... I didn't take on it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring the pill bottle with me. <laughs> I meant to bring the D6 with me. I think we might backtrack later to pick it back up, which is a long way to backtrack. And I'm sorry, but I'm probably going to do it anyway. Unless I get a good space roll item off the boss. You know, or out of a... Um, if I get a deal with the devil and it's got a nail in it, then forget it. We will just leave that pill bottle right there where it is. Well, in that case, I should, still walk, I should still walk all the way back and pick it up just to see what's if it becomes a passive. So we probably will be making this long, long trek back across the necropolis. Trying not to walk on spikes because I'm not paying attention. Who do we have here? We have War, who's going to give us a cube of meat. So we need to go back to either pick up... Oh, man. We need to go back to pick up the um, pill bottle. Which is probably actually the right thing to do. Um, we have PhD, so we have good pills. We have Nun's Habit, so we're going to have more pills more often. We know we have Balls of Steel in the rotation, so that's good. I mean, that could give us, you know, full healths and health, up, health ups and things like that, so... It could definitely be worth it to take the pill bottle with us. And also, there's no, um... There are no shops or items that you get after this floor. So there's no, not going to be any real point to having the D6 later. And we don't want to go into the next room yet because... Um... Yes, you're all this. Unicorn horn, I would rather have the um, pill bottle. Though I could, I could, hold on. All right, you're gonna hate me for this, I'm sorry. But I need to min max a little bit if I'm gonna, if I got a chance of actually beating, you know, I oh, I don't wanna come in here though, shoot. I don't wanna min max that much don't actually want to min-max that much. I need to go... So I was thinking about recharging the D6, is what I was thinking. But then I remembered that room. I was like, oh. No. Just, no. Where am I going? Too busy watching the map and not looking at my feet. I need to stop that mess. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Alright, what's in here? Can I get out of this room without taking damage? Should be able to. It's an easy room. And then my cube of meat had to save me. Because apparently, I am not good at dodging things when I'm being shot in the back. I don't like this room already. Because it built guys and milk can shoot me. But at least it doesn't throw bombs. I'm still getting hit. So it doesn't even matter if those bombs are not. Because there are too many enemies on the screen who act like crazy people. So as usual with crazy enemies, just keep some distance. Actually, with most enemies in the game, keep distance if you can. I mean, so we're gonna go back to that secret room. We've got lots of bombs, so you know, I don't feel like we're wasting them at all. We're just spending the time to try to get Dr. Fetus or something, you know. Reroll that. Ooh, the Onk. Oh, I must hit the Onk. That's worthy. So the Onk brings you back as Blue Baby if you die. So it gives another chance with three hearts. 
And that seems pretty good to me. We could get into the curse room too, so we have like a um, brimstone or something in there. Let's do that. Let us also do that. But we'll pick up our pill bottle. And if we can get some more, some mo, some mo, some mo. If we can get some more um, balls of steel pills to get some more health. I'm really hoping I don't go through all this, then we die on the mom's foot boss fight. Because that's going to suck. All right, devil room. Oh, I wish I had the... Wish I had, wish I had, wish I had. Oh, man. Man. So, okay, when you leave a... No, you can't get a devil room off of the mom fight. Never mind. Never mind. I was, well, I wish I had the freaking um, D6 so I could reroll these and maybe get a... Uh, mom's knife but I'm gonna take that we're gonna pop it three times to get to there take the pills back and is that what we're gonna do put a bomb here in case there's a tinted rock right there nope okay I don't want that let's take this bombs are keys I definitely don't want that that's a bunch of nonsense let's get out of here okay so, why I was hesitating earlier was in case, um, once you leave a devil room, there's actually a really good chance it stays and doesn't, the door doesn't close behind you. But, we have mom next, and I don't think you can ever have a um, devil room off of the mom fight. Because it's got doors, so, like, where would it show up at? And for that reason, we can't get back to devil room anyway, so, it don't matter. So we have lots of um, bullets flying everywhere. So we should have really good crowd control, even though our damage is not anything at all interesting. We got a little bit of speed, so we should really get out of the way. But I'm thinking with, you know, th two familiar shooting plus me, plus Meat Boy playing damage, you know, damage control for us, we should be fine. Because being part of this fight, of course, is always crowd control. She starts spawning crazy mess. Or she's getting, start getting hit by, like, random shots like that that you're not even looking at. As always, pay attention. Pay attention. Make sure the game doesn't, you know, murder you and you're not looking at it. Because it will try. Hate this dude who chases me. Don't you see, I got more important things to do than deal with you right now. Oh, and I got hit. Egg on it. Oh no! Give me a bomb with a keys pill? Hmm? I'm getting tired of those bombs keys pills, mom. Come on now, why are you still alive? Don't Zelda stuff, what is your problem? Craziness, craziness. Oh. Oh. Oh, the, oh man. Oh. 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 Say that again. Oh. Okay, so cancer gives us crazy tear rate, as you see. I don't think we've had any other damage up, so we, that's really important. But, we got rid of all our hearts. So the Polaroid... Oh, our tier rate's already ridiculous! Because we kept getting tier ups. Okay, we're rolling this in. The Polaroid gives you invincibility every time you get hit, if you have half a red heart or lower. And we do, because we have no red hearts whatsoever. So every time we get hit, we get invincibility for like three seconds like this so then you take especially you have like meat boy you just get up in somebody's face what is this bill friends with the end so we got some flies fantastic flows up looking for a um, secret tinted rock as well as an extra bomb for our troubles for a second I thought I was gonna be like have the most amazing dodging ever there somehow I didn't know how I got hit twice in this room, so we might die all in stupid rooms today. Because apparently, I have forgotten how to dodge. Which happens. Wow. Take a couple days off in this game and suddenly it's like, okay, you just can't play video games anymore. 
This is the tower, which is worthless. This is the Joker, which is not worthless. The Womb XL with the Joker card, and I don't have... Ooh. Hmm. Alright, so let's... So the sun's not useful as a health up anymore. Right? Right. Because we don't have any red hearts. Okay, let's use it to get... So we can see where we're going, so that's good. We we're going the entirely wrong direction. Let's pop the Joker card. Oh, it just takes us down. We can skip the mom fight. Um, you know what? Let's... What's this pill? <laughs> Tears up. I don't want to skip the mom fight, though, because I want to maybe go to Isaac. Right? Right? Maybe? Do I want to fight Satan? No, let's go. No, let's not chicken out. We will not chicken out. We will die like... Probably over here, really? Come on now. Could have at least brought me closer to the um, where I was trying to get. Okay, so I'm apparently getting hit by these guys like four times this level, so... We really, really, really might not live through the boss. Because, oh my goodness, I'm playing so badly. This room's going well, though. Get in here, get close so they pop up, shoot them, back away. Whoa, now. Don't shoot this guy, just get close to him so your keep of meat murders him for you. And let us go. Oh, wow, this room sucks. This is going way better than I thought it would, though. So they do have a timer that they, you know, go on. They gotta be, like, stopped for a certain amount of um, times before they actually trigger. So you can, if you duck around enough, you can keep them from hitting you. It is possible. Alright, get near the guy we're most scared of there. The guy who will blow up in your face and murder you. Don't know what this is. It is pretty fly. So our available um, pills are not that good. Are just not that good. We do have balls of steel in the rotation, which I haven't seen in a while. Sadly, sadly. Oh, now. Hoping that guy would kill. Oh! Alright, so three spirit hearts. Three spirit hearts for two back to back fights. This is not gonna go well. Let's go to that secret room first. Because <laughs> this is really not gonna go well. We're probably about to die to death or somebody stupid. Actually, probably just death. If it's not, death probably won't die. Okay, so again, we're gonna play this a lot. Which I don't like doing. I'd rather just, you know... I'd rather just blow this up and go about our business. But I have three spirit hearts. So if I can, you know, get something not three spirit hearts, that'd be nice. I do now have an extra defender. So three... When you're going to fight Isaac, which we're going to get to Isaac because I've got three hits left to me. Um, you do want orbitals. Orbitals. You know, my two pretty flies might keep a meat here. You do want those because, you know, when Isaac's shooting at you a million miles a minute, you do want... They take, like, you know, half the damage you could normally take. They're going to intercept shots for you, like, all the time. So that's another hit I can take. I mean, it doesn't matter. But there's another hit. At least it goes at the end. I guess I won't lose it first. I don't know. Since everything does one damage, it's pretty much like a whole spirit heart how we're going to treat that red heart or that uh, eternal heart as it were I was like what's the name of that heart I have no idea I was like soul heart no spirit heart no heart heart no why are you not giving me anything else interesting oh thanks just thanks okay so let's let's go fight our boss let's see if we can survive two bosses in a row with three hits I no. The answer is no. Because here we have death. Could it at least be nope? Was it? Could it at least be like a, a special champion death? Because I find those easier. I find blue death the easiest death to beat. Because he doesn't call these freaking size after you. Those size are crazy. But they're not coming back. Like, I never understood how death works. Because he can also like. You are kidding me. Because he'll also, um... Whee! 
sometimes he'll shoot this, um, his sides at you, and they'll go off the screen, then they'll like circle around and come back to hit you again. And I'm not sure what makes that happen sometimes, but this time they didn't, right? They just went off the screen and you never saw them again. But I don't know what controls that. Does the horse take damage when it runs into the little uh, night gas? Maybe it does. Who knows? I mean, I guess I might have shot it at the exact same time I hit them. I don't know. Okay, so we took one heart. That was not bad. Let's... Let's do this. What's that card we're leaving up in the top? Is that the... Um, that's the tower card, isn't it? Or something else I didn't want? How... Um, okay. So I'm apparently doing no damage, or I just can't aim. One to two. I'm definitely not doing much damage, though, because good grief. Just not doing much damage. But I got bombs. So let's see what we can do against Monstro here. Monstro 1 is... Oh. Okay. Run away from Monstro. Monstro is a very easy boss once you get used to what he's doing. Put that bomb right there. There you go. That bomb. Oh, come on now. Buddy ship. Kill me here. Y'all shot my bomb away. There you go. There you go. Come on. Don't shoot past. Shooting there. Blow up. There you go. Alright. Ever see? We're doing okay here. Why I'm picking up this money? I have no idea. Habit. Ingrained. After a bazillion hours of Isaac, you just pick up the money. You just have to do it. It's a rule. Uh oh. No. Let us see if we can not take any more hits. Our damage is so low, though. Trying to avoid the creep more than Chubb here. But also stay out of Chubb's charging range, if at all possible. I think we got this right here. All right. Got a single spirit heart for our trouble. So we took one hit and got a spirit heart. And got a bombs or keys pill again. Um, so let us... Let's go up here and see if we can survive a room or none. Um, man. Right. Let's go right. Got some regular widows. Which stinks, because mostly because of the spiders, not because of the widows. Because you can dodge the widows, not... I mean, not easily, but I mean, they're not, you know, awful. The problem is you end up dodging into regular spiders when you're dodging widows. My three little orbitals saved me a lot there, as did our triple shot of craziness. Okay, double, double Geminis. Do anything with them, just lead them where you want them to go. Get them, you know, get them to a region of the screen you want, so both together, and lead them away. Don't let them get too split up and, you know, basically don't let them chase you through the middle of the screen. Because then they might cut you off. Now, here could be a problem. Um, maybe. Depending on how out of control these two guys get. But again, try to keep them together. Which I'm not doing a good job of. There we go. Push them back together. You just don't want them to be apart, because then they bounce around all crazy-like, and it's just no good. If you can keep them together, everything is okay. And we gained a spirit heart. Yahoo! Yahoo! Alright, try to not get hit by the ridiculous crossfire here. Apparently, little Gish is not smart enough to set up the crossfire correctly. Health up. So all this time, there was a health up in the rotation. And we're just now getting it. Okay, so let's take that. Probably shouldn't have taken that. I should have left it at half a red heart. My bad. People who know better will be yelling at me in the comment section. Because the idea is with um, Polaroid, if you have half heart or less, is when your Polaroid will kick in. Um, and that will never get to half heart again because I filled up that last half heart. I could have used the pony this entire run, would have been fantastic. It just got Randy there. As you see, we don't get the Polaroid effect anymore, which might end up killing me at some point because I forget we don't have the Polaroid effect. 
I almost ran into him that you know a minute ago there because I was like, oh wait, Polaroid. I'm like, oh no, don't actually have it. Don't actually have it. We will kill our pony brother here. Come on, headless man. I'm glad you can't see, because if you could aim, I'd be in trouble. I would be in trouble. But you are an awful shot. Oh, I got in spirit heart. So I've actually got two extra hearts out of this floor so far. Which is kind of ridiculous for the cathedral. And some more range. What's our range like now? It's really good, right? Yes, okay. Give me health up. Prince of the end, I will take it. I will take three more attacks. So we got five hearts. No space for item. Ridiculous shot speed, which is really bad against um, Isaac. Let's do this. So with Isaac, you want to stay against an edge. Um, don't shoot all the time, because every time he gets hit, he responds with a torrent of shots. So anything you can do to... Sometimes you just shoot, like I said, you just stop shooting just to let yourself get a break from the crazy. Um, that stops applying once it gets into like phase three where he's summoning um, freaking angel fetuses everywhere. You can always just stand here because I've got three orbitals. Let's see how it goes. Let's actually let's do that. Let's just stand here and see if we can tank it. See how well our... Um, I ran in there because we had all those flies. I mean, so, oh, and we got hit. But we got Blue Baby, so we got, um, uh, we got nothing, that's what we got. So, <laughs> alright. So try this again with less hearts. We do have the Polaroid this time, so I guess that's something? Not really, though. But maybe, maybe, maybe we can luck it out. Just problem with, you know, oh, we got hit. Put a bomb down, and I then blew it out of the way because I'm an idiot. Of course, I didn't realize how much my familiars were shooting around like crazy people. Okay, we take one more hit without it killing us. We got him to phase two. That's something. I was doing that in case it was boss of steel. You know, I mean, I'm risking Zelda ink during a boss fight because I'm on one heart. And, you know, Balls of Steel could have saved us there. Could have saved this fight. That had been the first time in history that anybody said that they took Pill Bottle and it saved their run. <laughs> that would have been it. But, nope. Still can't say it. Still cannot be said. Pills have never saved anybody's run. That's what I'm saying. Not the Pill Bottle. He also might have. Oh, come on, Angel. We just ain't got time. Oh, don't even. No, don't murder me. That's pretty close. You have to admit. Considering we had crazy range, not crazy range, crazy tier effects, crazy tier speed. I'll get it right one of these times. That was alright. We got to Isaac. Better we deal with our Samson runs. Blah. But, so close, and yet so, so far. I am Islid. This has been The Binding of Isaac. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.